we are two Nagaraja statues. Um, they're placed on either end. When you see them in this pose, it's like they're saying, ta-da, welcome to the Rubin Museum of Art. I walked in with a group and knew that this place was going to be my new favorite museum. Having this part of my life, being exposed to all of this art over here, I think makes me a better doctor. It humbles me to be here a lot. I mean, it's, it's incredible. It's a really remarkable place. The art is seductive in that it's very layered and subtle. You know, I can go to the same painting five times and see something new or ascribe a new meaning to it or feel an intention that I didn't feel before. It's a heart connection. It's, it's the pure beauty and power and majesty of the work of art that holds my attention, my excitement, my spirituality, all in one piece of art. And then when you see the art together on a beautiful floor, it's overpowering. It's something about it is magical. The Rubin Museum is an essential part of our fifth grade curriculum. Our museums are just loads of fun. I mean, we get to make art and explore the galleries. Art education is extremely important to our citizenry. And the fact that the museum recognizes this and works at it and works at it well uh, is to its credit. When I walked in here for the first time, there was a quality of light, a quality of color that made me feel this is going to be a wonderful experience. I love the theater where I have my birthday party right here. Not to sound like a Philistine, but the shop here is fantastic. My husband and I joined this museum about one month after the museum opened up. At least twice a week I'm here. All of my shows here have been on Friday nights, so that's kind of my favorite day of the week. <laughs> it's Thursdays, of course, Thursday. when we come. <laughs> We get to spend time with people, we meet new people from other schools. We get to socialize, we get to learn about the Himalayan art. It's pretty fun. Yeah. I live up in Westchester. I catch a train down to go to work, and the smile is biggest on Wednesdays. And one o'clock, I'm perched in one of the seats for Lunch Matters. Watch the presentation, listen to an amazing Q&A, and that makes my week. The Rubin Museum of Art is a way to transport yourself to another world. Yeah, it's really amazing that it seems like it's all Bhutan all the time at home, and he begs to come here. On paper, I should not like this museum. I am the least Eastern person that can be imagined. I don't like yoga, I don't like green tea, I don't like serenity, but I love this place. It really is an established part of New York City. In the midst of the busyness of this city, you know, to step into this building, it's an oasis in the midst of that, and it can really transport you. It, it, it's, it's sort of too good to be true, uh, is what it really is, and, and I'm happy that it is true. If I had to describe the Rubin in one word. Inspiring. Profound. Transcendent. Wondrous. Peaceful. Sublime. Magic. Amazing, amazing, amazing. <laughs>